everybody. We are just having the best week on House of Games. It's been an absolute cracker. Four famous faces. They are battling, and boy, are they battling all of them to try and win this trophy right here. It's going to be very, very close today. It's been very close all week between the following four. Mike Bushell. Hello again. Ashlyn B. Sunit Osaka. Bonjour. And Dion Dublin. Bonjour. Welcome one and all. <laughs> now, Dion, I say it's close between the four. It's, it's sort of close between these yeah. three is the truth. With your punditry head on, tell us what you think is going to happen between these three, because it is so close, right? It's one of these tournaments that you, you, you never know if the big characters are going to stand up yeah. and be counted. Sometimes Come, yeah. you've got an understory that comes around the back door and yeah. steals the prize out the hand. That could be Mike. Yeah, Bushel. It's got the big M, the momentum, right, for the, for, Mike, for the, for the win just, yesterday. You know, Mike, he's one of those players that just doesn't go away. <laughs> it just doesn't go away. He <laughs> plays in <laughs> midfield, you try and play a pass and he's there. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Dion Dublin, everybody. Yeah, I like that. Thank you. Um, so, Netra, let's take a little look at our leaderboard, shall we? Because there are two points between the three of you, and it's double points Friday, so eight points for a win, six for second, and so on. And look at that. You're at the top. Ashton is just uh, underneath, and then Mike as well. If you win today, you are a champion. Well, 13's not the luckiest of numbers, is it, Richard? You're not going to end on 13, though. Well, how do we know? Look at that. I, well, I don't want to look at that 13. Because you can't score zero. Oh, I see. So, <laughs> You're yeah, already yeah. negative. Friday the 13th already a Friday be Oh, 13. Friday and 13. Do you know what I'm oh. saying? Oh, yeah. Wow. I'll tell you what. Oh, I see, yes. If you just want to sit this out. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, even bother. but I don't think you do want to sit it out. <laughs> um, Ashley, yeah. two wins for you. The only person to have won two so far. Again, if you win today, you will be our champion. Friday's always been my best day. I I've come here to win, Richard. Beautiful. Mike Bushell, happy with your win yesterday? Oh, absolutely. You told me to believe. And you believe? <laughs> I did, despite Thank finding you. that answer smash yesterday. Horrendous. I don't think I buzzed once, but I just hung in there. That's absolutely. What it's about. <laughs> On the final bend, it's about breathing down the necks of the opponent. It, oh, go, it's exactly. Just let them know you're there. <laughs> yeah. All you can do. Let's take a look at today's daily prizes. We're going to go down the line, just uh, oh. one word of what you want. Deck, Deck chair, you. sparkling wine, action doll, eau de cologne, and some House of Games espadrilles. Uh, Mike, what do you fancy? Oh, the espadrilles. Definitely. Espadrilles, Ashley. I might take the deck chair because it folds up and it might be a handy thing to have. So, Netra, what would you go for? I would just have to go for the cologne. My 15-year-old son would love that. Mm, yeah. Beautiful. And Dion? Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> every time. Alcohol absolutely every right. time. It is okay. a Kyrgyzstani sparkling wine. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Just That's what I wanted. Perfect. I hear it's terrific. What a close week it's been. And I know it's going to be close today as well. Someone's walking away with a trophy at the end of the day. Who's it going to be? Only one way to find out, and let's play some rounds, eh? Okay. Shall we? Round one today is... The answers in the question. I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to ask you each a question. Part of that question will be in capital letters. And the answer will be an anagram of those capital letters. Oh. Okay. So the answer is in the question. Uh, the first category is US cities. Mike, here's yours. So which US city is this? You'd have to be a real snob to think of this city as just the capital of Massachusetts. Ooh. Boston. OK, is that correct? Anagram of snob two. Boston. Mm. Well done, Mike. You see, couldn't be simpler. Ashlyn, US city for you. Following the decline of this city's auto industry, residents have tried to bring it back to its former glory. Uh, I would like to tell you that that is Detroit. I would like to tell you that's the correct answer. Well done, Ashlyn. Detroit. <laughs> Sunetra's going well so far, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, here's your US city. <laughs> If you're travelling around the South on your tour, why not take a trip to the most popular city in Texas? I'll take myself to Houston. Oh. Houston, we have a correct answer. Well done. <laughs> Houston. <laughs> Dion, are we going to get four out of four here? Come on, Dion. Which US city is this? Everybody cheering you on. When I visit this city in Florida, I have one aim. I'm going to South Beach to look out for Crockett and Tubbs. In Miami. Miami? Yay. Four out of four. Well done, everybody. <laughs> nice, isn't it? You just yeah. Oh, it's point nice for everybody. When everybody wins. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can continue as we change our category. Plays. Okay. okay, we've hidden some plays. Mike, here's yours. 
By the end of this play by George Bernard Shaw, the main character could say, look at me, Pa, my lingo has much improved. No pressure, Mike, but uh, we have some buzzer hoverers. It's not springing out, I have to say. OK, should we time me out? Yep, time me out, sorry. Oh. Uh, Ashling. Pygmalion. Pygmalion oh. is the answer. Oh, well done. Good. It wasn't Pygmalion. on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> That's where we get My Fair Lady from, is uh, oh, yeah, based course, on yeah, Pygmalion. Yeah. Ashling. Yes, please. Play for you. For those who want to see an eccentric medium and people in peril, this bit of comic drama from Noel Coward is just the ticket. Noel Coward play about a psychic. Um, uh... Oh, my brain's gone blank, yeah, sorry. OK, well, time you out. Anybody fancy that? No one knows it here. Very well done if you got this at home. Let's take a look at the answer. It was Blythe Spirit. Yes, yes, well yes. Well done if you said oh, that one oh, at home. Yes. No coward. Um, Sinetra, here's your play. With Julie Walters and Michael Caine both involved, oh. the film adaptation of this play could serve as a true acting aid, and that's not to mention Willie Russell's script. Oh, that's amazing. Educating Rita. Educating Rita. Lovely one to go to you. Well done. Educating Rita is the correct answer. <laughs> Dion, <laughs> final one of the round for you. We've hidden the play. What is the play? In this Shakespeare tragedy set in Italy, a female dies by stabbing herself, and there is a male injured too. <laughs> You've got to hand it to the question writers in this Yeah, yeah. this is Very a clever. good yeah. bit of work by the question writers. Not a Shakespeare man, unfortunately. No. No, nope. we'll time you up. There's going to be a buzzer race between the other three here. Ashlyn B wins the buzzer race. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet oh, is the answer. Oh, well played, Romeo and Juliet. That's the end of that round. End of our first round on Friday's House of Games. Uh, we're going to take a first look at our leaderboard. And here's how we stand. So close at the top of our weekly leaderboard. And it's pretty close here as well. Amazing. Dion and Mike, you have one each. Sinetra, you have two. Ashlyn B Ashlyn out in the lead B. with three points. Well played, Ashlyn. Let's get straight on, shall we, to round two. Today on House of Games, it's going to be... You complete me a pairs game. Whoever's in last place gets to choose their partner. Mike and Dion, you're tied last at the moment. Mike, why don't you choose a partner Ooh. today? Sinetra, I think. Sinetra, lovely. So, Mike and Dion, if you swap places, please. Dion, welcome. Thank lovely you. Lovely to have you back down here Thank again. You. I miss you. Oh, nice, I miss you too. <laughs> now, this round is called You Complete Me for a good reason. OK, I'm going to ask you some questions, so fingers on buzzers, everyone. Every answer has two words in it, mm -hmm. OK? If you buzz in, I just want you to give me the first word of the answer. Your partner then has to complete the answer and give me the second word. Very best of luck to everybody. Here's your first question. Give me the first word of this answer, please. Which poultry dish shares part of its name with the capital of Ukraine? Yes, Mike. Chicken. Chicken is correct. Uh, Sinetra? Kiev. Chicken Kiev? Well played, absolutely right. Chicken Thank Kiev. You. Nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. um, here's your next question. <laughs> Which 2000 film stars Sandra Bullock as an FBI agent undercover at a beauty pageant? Yes, Ashling. Miss? Is correct. Dion? Congeniality? Yes! Oh, well played. Yes, Congeniality. Yes. Brilliant. Perfect. Well played. Point for both oh, teams so far. Lovely work. Well done. Here's your next question. What's the first word of this answer? Who is this? Ashley. Joe. Is correct. Dion? Wicks. Joe Wicks? Absolutely oh, right. Very well done. Here's your next question. What is the title of this song? Sinetra. Le. Le is correct. Mike for the point. Freak out? I just need one word. Freak. Le Freak. Oh, well played, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Le Freak. Oh, <laughs> Beautiful. Here's your next one. What was the name of the Sky Terrier who was said to have guarded his master's grave for 14 years and is now commemorated by a statue in Edinburgh? I have no idea. Yes, Mike. Greyfriars. Greyfriars is correct. Sinetra? Um, the Sky Terrier who was 
I think doing a dog impression is not helping <laughs> because it's... Well, it says dog on there, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I can pass it over if. Uh... Sorry. No, no, it's one of those things you don't know all night. Should we time you out? A while ago. Yeah, yeah, time me out. Anybody you want to buzz? Ashlyn? Bobby! Grey Friars, Bobby oh, is the answer. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, they've got a gorgeous statue of it, haven't they? Near, oh, near quite yeah. a lot of the big comedy venues. Yeah, Grey no, Fries Bobby. Well, I don't know if you said that at home. Uh, here's your next question. What's the first word of this answer, please? By what name is the Brisbane Cricket Ground in Australia better known? Uh-oh. Dion. The. <laughs> the is correct. OK. <laughs> OK. The, the rectangle, cos it's, it's ironic. Here we go. Is it the rectangle? It is uh, not. It's a hard one, it's a tough one. Mike? The Gabba. The Gabba? That's the correct answer. Okay. Well done. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know that, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. So the Gabba is the right answer. Well done if you said that at home. Here's your last mm -hmm. question in this round. Okay. Been a very good round so far. What is the title of this song? All the leaves are brown. Uh, Ashling. California. California is correct. Dion for the points. Can Oh, gosh. All the leaves are all, all the leaves are brown. brown. And the oh, yes, yes, California. The sky is grey. Dreaming. Yeah. Is the right answer, Dion. Well played. Coming good on Friday, isn't he? Dion oh, Dublin. Uh, that is the end of that round. Dion and Mike, I wonder if you'd like to swap yourselves well, back well, over, please. Well, 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 scoring well, well, round. <laughs> Here we go. Let's take a look at our score, shall we? Two rounds down in our final of House of Games. A very, very close week and a very, very close leaderboard, I think. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Uh, Mike, you have four. Sinetra and Dion, five. Mm. Ashlyn B, a little lead wow. there. 2.7 for Ashlyn. <laughs> Well done. Oh, this is quite tense now. <laughs> it is genuinely very, very, very close. Three more rounds to go. Here's the first one. It is... Two clues in one, OK? I'm going to show you a category now. Here's your first category. It is actors who have played James Bond. Now, I'm going to give you a clue, but the clue will have the same initials as the answer. Fingers on buzzers, here is your first actor who played James Bond. Scottish Charmer. Yes, Sinetra. Sean Connery. Sean Connery, well played. <laughs> Next actor. Rescued Moonraker. Mike. Roger Moore. Roger Moore, Rescued Moonraker. Well done, Mike. Very nice. Next Bond actor. Generally lacking. Oh, yeah, that's Dion. George Lazenby. George Lazenby. <laughs> well played, oh, right. Dion. Very nice. Generally lacking. <laughs> Poor George Lazenby. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Worst insult ever. Oh, wow. Next category. Wonders of the world. What are these wonders mm. of the world? The uh, clues have the same initials as the answer. Massive. Peruvian. Yes, Sinetra. Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Oh, yeah. That's a great oh, clue, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Massive. <laughs> Massive. <Brilliant. laughs> uh, Machu Picchu. Here's your next one. Timeless Mausoleum. Yes, Sinetra. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, oh, of course. Of course. Well played. Taj Mahal. <laughs> next wonder of the world. Gigantic, well-old construction. Yes, Dion. The Great Wall of China. <gasps> Great Wall well of done, China. Yes. Well oh, played, wow. Dion. Wait. Very well done. Uh, next category. Novels of the 19th century. This is me. This is, <laughs> this is me. This is me. Hold on a minute. This is yeah. it. I told you. This, this has got Dion Dublin written <laughs> all, all over it. I've waited for this all week. Five uh, days. <laughs> here we go. Here's your first clue. Ah, the of times contradiction. Yes, Mike. A Tale of Two Cities? A Tale oh, of Two well Cities. Done. Well, well yeah. done. Well, well done, Mike Bushell. Um, and the last question in this round. Tripods will obliterate torpid woking. 
Yes, Mike. The War of the Worlds. The War of oh, the Worlds oh. is the right answer, Mike. <laughs> well done. Yeah, great work by 19th century yeah. novels are yours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't think that. I'd have had that later, actually. But no. That is the end of that round. Let's take a look at our leaderboard. I'm going to say this is going to be incredibly close. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Dion. Dion. Ashling wow. and Mike have seven. Sinetra one oh, point ahead oh, with eight. Oh, oh. oh, super, super close. Our fourth round today is... But what's the question? Now, the good news here is I'm going to tell you all the answers to this round, OK? <laughs> and the answers are right here. A high five, 40 minutes, crumb and a donkey named Monica. OK, those are the answers. Dion, I wonder if you could do me a quick favour. I wonder if you could choose Mike Bushell's answer for this round, please, from there. Um, it's got to be a donkey named Monica. <laughs> a donkey named Monica. So, Mike, your answer, I'll give you. It's a donkey named Monica. But you've got to work out what your question is. And okay. it's one of these three. In 2011, what was given to Barack Obama as a gift by the Northern Territory government during his trip to Darwin in Australia? Mm-hmm. Is your question, which artiste retired from the Marinsky Ballet in St. Petersburg in 2008 after 19 years of appearing in productions of Don Quixote? Or is it... After West Bromwich Albion signed a new sponsorship agreement in May 2018, what new mascot appeared at the Hawthorns for the club's first league game of the following season? Mm. Well, three very plausible mm. questions. I'd, yeah. I'd hope if it was the West Bromwich uh, Albion mascot, I'd have remembered that. <sighs> that was pretty recent. Mm. Yeah. Um, for some reason, the gift to Barack Obama rings a bell. OK. I don't know why, yeah. but I'm going to go for the, for the, <laughs> a, the so uh, present to Barack Obama. you're going for Barack Obama. So, Mike, your answer is a donkey named Monica. Is that your question? <sighs> it is not. It is not. Let's take a look at the answer. Oh, that's really? rather sweet, isn't it? The artiste yeah, was yeah. a donkey named Monica. Yeah. Oh, donkey Oti. It's probably nice the most obvious answer. Oh, Donkey yeah. Oti. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was too obvious, yeah. just oh, a little yeah. obvious. Sancho Panza uh, rode around on a donkey, didn't he? And, uh, and Monica was that donkey. Mm. Now, the West Bromwich Albion one, they do have a crazy mascot, yeah. don't they? But yes. it's the boiler, like a combi yeah, they, boiler they called yeah. Boiler Man. Yeah, they changed boiler. it, didn't they? Yeah. And Barack Obama, he was given a gift uh, there, but he was given crocodile insurance. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> Sinetra, I wonder if you could choose Ashlyn's answer, please, for oh. this round. I'll go for Crumb. 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 Crumb is your answer, Ashley. but what is your question? It's the tiniest bit of a bread. Oh, it would be lovely <laughs> if that was the first Isn't one. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah. Is it? In computing, what term is used for two bits of information? In curling, what term is used for a frozen water droplet that creates a tiny bump on the surface of the ice? Oh, OK. These are good so far. Or is it? In the musical Cats, who is Mungo Jerry's partner in crime? Mm. Ooh, oh, I feel like it's not the first one. I think the two bits of information I feel like are bites, not crumbs. Um, <sighs> curling, frozen water droplet that creates a tiny bump on the ice. It'll be like a crumb on the ice. I feel like, they, yeah, I don't think crumb doesn't feel right. But then I feel like I would have heard about the name crumb in Cats. Yeah. Even uh, speaking about Cats makes me shudder because of the film, but... Um... So you're, rule you're ruling out all three of them? I think yes. <laughs> I think it's a trick question and none is the answer. No, I'm going to go with curling. Crumb okay. on the ice. You're going to go curling. What do you think at home? Do you agree or disagree with this one? Ashton is saying curling crumb on the ice. Every point is super important right now. Ashton, is that the correct answer? It's oh! not. I would have gone for that. Speaking it's called a cats. pebble, actually. They call it a pebble, which is a bit oh, big for yeah. me. Hmm. Um, so which of these is the correct answer? Cats probably. Oh! Whoa! You know what, um, that's there the you one go. Yes. Two bits Mega or a crumb. bite, like little bites. I thought they were... Uh, a bite is eight bits, or four crumbs, <laughs> uh, I think. There you go. <laughs> Ashton, you have another little job to do now, which is could you choose uh, Sinetra's answer for this round, please? I surely will, Richard. <laughs> I'm going to give you a high five. Nice. Back at you. Sinetra, your answer is a high five, but what is your question? It's one of these three. Is it... Which character was voiced by Patrick Stewart in the Razzie Award-winning film The Emoji Movie? <laughs> <laughs> what informal greeting was outlawed briefly in Washington, D.C. in the early 1970s as it was deemed to be offensive? 
Or during a 2016 royal visit to Canada, what did Prince George refuse to give Canadian Prime Minister <laughs> Justin Trudeau? <laughs> Those are good answers. That's yeah. a great answer. You want to say it's the third one because it's so cute and you believe yeah. it. But yeah. It's also a trick question, uh, okay. possibly. Mm. Our question setters are really, they've really backloaded the, uh, the last <laughs> show here. <laughs> so enough there. Uh, They're tricking yeah. some emotions. The, the emoji movie, no, I haven't seen it. I don't know if in Washington it would have created uproar. So mm. I am going to plump for the little Prince George refusing to give Justin Trudeau a high Prince five. Prince George. OK, what do you think at home? You agree or disagree? Have we scored our first point of the round? Is that the correct answer? It yeah. is the correct well answer, Sinatra. Very well, well played. Done. The high five emoji in that movie was played by James Corden. <laughs> oh. There you go. You? Um, Patrick Stewart played, played the poop. <gasps> really? So there you go, the poop nice. emoji. Yeah. Thank you. Mike, I wonder if you could choose the last remaining answer for Ooh. Dion, please. I'd love to say a donkey called Monica, but no, 40 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I'd love to say minutes. a donkey called Monica. Uh, 40 minutes is your answer, okay. Dion. But what is your question? Is it... According to a survey published in 2020, how long does it take the average family to eat their dinner? According to the official eligibility rules, what was the minimum running time for a film to have been eligible for the Best Picture Oscar at the 2020 ceremony? Or according to a 2019 analysis by a trade union, what is the average daily commuting time for an individual in the UK? Oh. I mean, it Tough. could be any of those, yeah. couldn't it? I'm not, I'm, I'm not feeling that it's going to take 40 minutes for a family to eat their dinner. They just, yeah. they woof it down. I'm going to, I'm going to go. The daily commuting time. I'm going to go with the bottom one. Daily commuting time. Let's take a look, Dion. Have you scored yourself a point? You have not. Oh. Let's take a look what the answer was then. There you go. The best mm. picture, Oscar. You're yes. quite right about the uh, the dinner one. Oh. 21 minutes to eat dinner. And the average commute is 59 minutes. Just under wow. an hour is the average commute. Wow. Um, listen, we've been together all week, quizzing away. Very, very close. Uh, we've got one round to go. Oh. One round before we give away this trophy here. Um, and let's take a look at our leaderboard going into that final round, shall we? And this has got anyone's game written all over it. We have three players on seven. Oh. We have Sinetra, two Ooh. points yeah. in the lead with nine <laughs> points, <laughs> Sinetra. This is good. Final round, of course is wow. answer smash. And we know that there's a point for a correct answer and there's a point off for I'm an incorrect answer. I'm just going to really answer. focus my head for a second. <laughs> and we know as well we're going to have to be super strict in this round too. Sinetra, you're a two-point lead, but everybody is still in this. Our first category on this absolutely crucial game of answer smash is... Home furnishings. That's about as high octane as I was looking for. Oh, yeah, yeah. That we suits the up. situation. Uh, home furnishings are the pictures. There are clues underneath. Here is your first one. Good luck, everybody. Rigel and Betelgeuse are stars in which constellation that is also known for its belt? No one's um, risking dog. it. Or are they? You lose a point, don't you? You do you lose a point, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, sinetra has gone for it. I'm just, I mean, Mira Ryan. Mira Ryan is the right oh. answer. Oh. Mira oh. and Orion. Oh. I wasn't even going to, I was going to Who point. dares oh. win, Sinetra? Wow. Well played. Mira and Orion. Mira Ryan. Beautiful answer. Yes. Here is your next home furnishing and your next clue. Which two word Latin phrase, literally meaning by day, denotes a payment made for daily expenses? Yes, Sinetra. Wallpaper diem. Oh. Wallpaper diem. Oh. Well done. Yeah. Wallpaper diem. Well played, Sinetra. Next home furnishing. What collective name can be given to the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg? Ashlyn B. Pillowlands. Pillowlands? I'll give you that. It's pillow countries, but for lowlands also, I'll give you that. Uh, well played, Ashley. On the way back, here she comes, here she comes. Countries. I didn't know that. Here she comes. Uh, here is your next category. Nuts. Here we go. Crack these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> According to the title of their 1979 number one single, what don't the Boomtown Rats like? Yes, Ashley. Our Mondays. Our Mondays. 
Well oh, played. Good. Arm on the Monday. Next nut. Which small French gherkin is traditionally eaten with potatoes and a raclette cheese? Sinetra. A cornichon. A cornichon. Oh, lovely. It's the right oh. answer. A corn and cornichon. Oh, yeah. Well played, Sinetra. <laughs> Next nut. Along with her husband Ike, Tina Turner had a 1973 UK top ten hit with which song about her hometown? Yes, Mike. Walnut Bush, Bush City. Oh, not yes. Bush City. Walnut Bush City. Oh. What? That's not the correct answer, I'm afraid. Dion. Walnut Bush City Limits. Oh. Wow. It is incorrect oh. as well. Oh. It is incorrect. I'm so sorry. Shall I tell you the answer? Yeah. yeah. Hazelnut Bush City Limits oh. was the answer. Oh, it's right. a hazelnut. Yes. Hazelnut Nut Bush City Limits. Um, next category. Stars of the 80s. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. Fingers on buzzers, please. Point for correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Here's your first one. Which TV series first broadcast in 2006 starred Miley Cyrus as a schoolgirl leading a secret double life as a pop singer? Sinetra. Daryl Hannah Montana. Daryl Hannah Montana. Oh, very good. Oh, good. oh what a wow. performance from Sinetra really Sarka. Good. Correct. Next 80s star. This girl. In Only Fools and Horses, Del Boy and his family lived in which block of flats? No one. So I, tell you. Know, I, don't know, I don't know who that is. No. He's in, isn't he Breakfast Club? Yeah, it's, Judd, I, I know, I know it's what. Judd, Judd Nelson Mandela House. Oh, was the answer. Yeah. Judd Nelson and Nelson Mandela House. Here's your next 80 star. <laughs> We're done. Oh, We're done. Oh, We're done. Well, oh. so close all week. Uh, on Monday, Sinetra won. On Tuesday and Wednesday, Ashling won. Yesterday, Thursday, Mike Bushell won. On Friday, our winner is. Sinetra Sarka. Oh, wow. Well, biggest look at that four point lead. Yeah. 13. Oh, she started on 13. It's Friday, unlucky really? 13. Clearly, my Thursday is a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It has been such a close week and such a brilliantly fought week as well. It's been a load of fun. Sinetra, you get yourself another prize. What, what? would you like to take wow. home here? You know, I am <laughs> going to take the deck chair. Yeah. Sinetra yeah. Sarka takes home a deck chair. Very well done. But there is now the small matter of the House of Games Champions Trophy. It has been nip and tuck all week. It's been a terrific performance from all of you. But I think we know who's taking home the trophy. I think we know our mm. champion of the week is... Sunetra Saka. Sunetra, congratulations. What a performance. Ashton second, Mike third there, and Dion so with close. eight points there at the bottom. Sinetra, congratulations. Very, very well played. And congratulations to all of you. It was a terrific week. I had loads and loads of fun. Dion, thank you. Thank Sinetra, you. thank you. Ashton, thank you. Thank you. Mike, thank, thank you as well. You. Um, thank you for joining us as well. We'll see you next time on the House of Games. I'd just like to thank everybody who helped me get here. Oh, well done. Oh, <laughs> well done.